our daily lives are surrounded by music, and it is so natural to us now. It all started with a cassette tape for music, developed by TDK. この小さな箱に君たちの、いや、我が社の未来をかけてみないか。よろしくお願いします。Electronics have become a fundamental part of our modern lifestyle. TDK plays a significant role in it. How has this university derived venture company, which began as a small factory, become a world leader? Its driving force was based on the venture spirit. And there are TDK's seven challenges and passionate stories behind them. Let's unravel these to find the secrets to success. The first episode is the cassette tape. Episode one, cassette tape. This is the story of TDK, once a small parts factory that rose to the challenge and turned the industry upside down. Eventually, it took the world music market by storm. And even went into the space business. How did TDK's cassette tapes create a paradigm shift that overturned the industry's conventional wisdom? Knowing this episode will give you clues about the present and the future. In 1960, a man was assigned to the tape division, which was a department struggling to make profit. It was Yutaka Otoshi, the general manager of the business division, who was referred to as a sales demon. ここはお荷物部署と呼ばれている本社からはなくしていいとさえ言われているしかし最初に約束しよう俺は絶対にこの事業部は潰さないテープ事業に未来はあると私は思うしかしただ待ってるだけではダメだそこでだ。これが何かわかるかこの小さな箱に君たちのいや我が社の未来をかけてみないか At that time, TDK faced price demands from manufacturers, leading the company to adapt a subcontractor mentality focused on pleasing customers. Otoshi believed that it was necessary to eliminate this mentality and establish TDK's own brand. He shifted his focus to the newly launched cassette tape. The sound quality of the cassette tapes was poor. And their applications were limited to recording meetings. However, Otoshi saw the potential of the compact and convenient cassette tape and came up with an idea music. During that time, recording music using open reel tape was very popular, but the equipment was quite expensive, bulky, and limited to a subset of passionate music fans. もしもこのカセットテープで美しい音楽を録音することができればいずれ街中が TDK のテープであふれかえるオートシハッコンフィデンスダウィアヴァンステクノロジカルケーパビリティスディケンメイクイポスブルフォーエヴリワントエンジョイレコーディングミュージックトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥト
The members of the tape business division set detailed development targets. The case material, the frequency band, the recording length. The paramount sound target was the ability to record Mendelssohn's violin concerto in E minor, Opus 64. It has a wide range of sound, and if it can be recorded, almost any tune can be recorded beautifully. However, there was a major problem. The tape was not wide enough to record the full sound range from high to low. The development team came up with a new idea to increase the range while maintaining the standard width. They thought that if finer magnetic material could be produced within the width of the tape, the coercivity would be increased and data with a wider sound range could be obtained. The attention turned to Toda Kogyo, a fine particle manufacturer who focused on controlling particle size while maintaining high purity. It was a simple decision for Otoshi, who had a strong will to create a music cassette tape ahead of the rest of the world. TDK established an equal and cooperative relationship with Toda Kogyo and embarked on joint development. This was pioneering in what is now known as open innovation. Following trials and errors, elliptical magnetic material was successfully made, which dramatically increased data retention capability. The needle-shaped magnetic material was completed. The beautiful sound announced the success. The melody moved the hearts of the engineers. Using cobalt deposition, TDK succeeded in developing a new magnetic material to further enhance the sound quality. This material, named Super Avalon, marked the pinnacle of TDK's tape business. The world's first cassette tape for music was completed. An idea made into a reality by a Japanese parts manufacturer shocked the world. A strong tremor shook the industry. Until then, cassette tapes were considered a recording media for the cassette decks. But the music tapes developed by TDK grew explosively popular, and they became the de facto standard, the new industry standard. 
It was a reversal phenomenon that made major audio equipment makers develop decks according to TDK's cassette quality. It was a paradigm shift. If truly outstanding products could be developed, the entire industry can be overturned. TDK shifted the industry's focus onto their cassettes, taking the lead for major audio equipment makers. Moreover, TDK's cassettes became a part of the music culture of the time, as music spread throughout cities and towns. In 1968, TDK developed the SD cassette tape. Surprisingly, Otoshi didn't announce the product in Japan first. America? America is a music music Instead, he chose to launch it in the U.S., known for its deep-rooted musical culture, and is the largest market in the world. This move demonstrated TDK's confidence that it would become the number one in the world. This bold initiative surpassed even the open innovation with Toda Kogyo conducted during development. Nevertheless, Otoshi didn't hesitate. At the root was the pure energy of wanting music fans around the world to enjoy music even more with this tape. This idea matched the reality perfectly. In 1968, SD Tape received a tremendous response at the Consumer Electronics Show held in New York. Its unstoppable reputation has finally reached the space exploration business. For the dream of all mankind, TDK's cassette tapes were chosen to record this prestigious project. The recording media that embodied Otoshi's dream went beyond the global scale and spread its wings to the space exploration business. The high reliability of TDK tape has spread throughout the world. TDK has continuously tackled challenges while targeting the center of the industry. However, these were not reckless bets. To identify the mainstream and cut to the heart of the most expansive market, it can only be done with the best product the world has ever seen. By becoming number one, we can achieve the de facto standard. And that is when the paradigm shifts. To be number one, we have to pursue what our customers need and desire. We create a unique concept and give it shape. Developing our original materials, proudly collaborating with others, and competing at the center of the industry. Creating a new world, free from old conventions and fixed ideas. It is the outcome of commitment to the venture spirit of value creation, TDK's fundamental philosophy. The success of the music cassette tape has become a symbol of TDK's challenge and innovation. Electronic components, magnetic heads, sensors, and batteries. These modern TDK products carry on TDK's legacy and is the driving force behind the creation of new solutions. Episode 1. Cassette Tape. Attracting Tomorrow, TDK.